a different angle on Christmas. Because today is the day that people acknowledge and celebrate the birth of a man 2016 years ago. I don't have any problem with that. But as I said, the story is 2016 years old. We have a more current story. Any person who's been in our life who has brought this same message through their living needs to be celebrated on this day. It needs to be celebrated every day. But if we're going to talk about Christmas being about the message that life is amazing and we can actually be the creator in our world and be saved, that's how we're saved, by being a creator. But the story is still being told. And there is still some passion and some knowing of the essence of the story as it is read. I mean, my emotional response is partly because it's in my cells. Not just because Christmas was about presents and ravioli, but it was about um, something miraculous happening. And when a story like that is told over and over again, it gets embellished by the people who tell the story gets embellished by the priests who I listen to year after year in the Catholic Church. <clears throat> it gets embellished in the children's plays in school, depending on whether or not they're even allowed to tell it anymore because it is a Christian story and not a holiday story. But I want to say it's a current story for me. It's a story that there have been people in my lifetime who have come and said the same thing and told the same story. And there are times when I'm teaching and remembering those people who taught me where I'm repeating the story they told me or I'm repeating the truth that I know because I met them. Less iterations, less adaptations. But the current story is the Christ spirit is being born by people who consciously know that they're responsible, capable, and awake to bring the story and not just to bring the story, to live the reality. A story is something that can touch your heart, but what really touches my heart is when I meet somebody who knows what that means, somebody who actually is doing what that said, somebody who knows what his life was about. Can we acknowledge as the message that came on this Christmas day that the answer is in the way we live our lives? The angels were involved in making sure the shepherds found their way. The magi were involved in making sure it was acknowledged and honored. I want to say one of the greatest gifts that I've been given is someone teaching me how to honor another person who's bringing this incredible spirit. I used to, in my youth, honor it with false adulation. <clears throat> I grew up, as most of you know by now, in the Catholic Church, and the respect and honoring I gave to the priests and the nuns because of what they represented to me was based on something that I found later in my life didn't make sense. But then when I found somebody who actually was bringing the spirit of the living Christ in the world and sharing it with me unabashedly, the respect and love I could give to that person was a gift back to me. A gift to them, but a gift back to me that I got to participate in my life in a greater way because of what they brought. I stand here on this Christmas day to say I never told you how much I love you and how much I thank you for living an honorable life Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May my life be an answer to that and a celebration of joy. <clears throat>